right, hello guys. This week's video is a special, it's not a recipe, but it's more of a, the difference between Prosecco and Champagne type of video. So I had somebody ask me what the difference between a Miramosa and a Mermosa is, and I was doing some research and I couldn't find, find anything about a Miramosa. I did find something about a Bellini, which Bellini and Mermosas are very close. Only difference is they use one different ingredient and that's the juice. So in a Bellini, you would use peach nectar or peach puree, whereas in a Mermosa, you would use orange juice. So we're gonna go ahead and make those two beverages, try them and see how we enjoy them and see if we can taste the difference between Prosecco and Champagne. Because Prosecco and Champagne are both considered a sparkling wine yet have different flavors and are used in different drinks. So we're gonna go ahead and test this theory and see which one's better and which one, and see if we can tell the So I have a sparkling mango beverage. I don't have peach, I'm sorry. So the Bellini we're gonna make, it's not a puree. It will be a sparkling mango orange a beverage and then we're gonna have orange juice for the Mermosa. So I have two different, I have a champagne, a mini Corbel champagne, Brut for the Mermosa, and then for the Bellini, we're gonna make, use a Monetto, is it, yeah, Mo, Monetto Prosecco. These are both small little bottles, I bought them a couple days ago, so we're gonna give a little theory test. So, I'm gonna start off with the Prosecco Bellini, so move our little hat to the side. So we're gonna do a little experiment here, so, I've already undone the top of this because I didn't wanna have it spilling in, in, in our little area here, so I undid this outside, over yonder. Pour a little bit in here. And always make sure you chill your champagnes and Proseccos when making your beverages because it will make them look, taste a little bit different or taste amazing. So that's about a good size for our sample size. And I do equal parts champagne and Prosecco to the a juice or beverage you're using to make your, your beverage. So that's about close for me. All right, so now that's the Bellini. So we're gonna give this one a taste here. Mm, okay, that's very good actually. And we've made this beverage before using um, a, a Moscato. So I use this sparkling ice mango orange to also make um, wine cocktails. So also good to use in a Bellini too. So this is a perfect beverage for that. Mm. Two sparklings in one. Can't beat that. It's very good. I love it. And the Prosecco is very subtle. It doesn't really, you can't taste the Prosecco in this beverage. Um, maybe because I used too much of the orange juice. I don't think I did. The orange and mango. I don't think I did though. It looked like equal parts. So, hmm. yeah, the uh, Prosecco is not as tart, I think, as a champagne. But we're going to test that theory in a minute. Let's go ahead and make their Mermosa. So I have this we go. Make sure we don't spill this. All right, put the cap back on. I already almost spilled opening this Corbel. It almost like went everywhere. So I'm like, oh my god. All right now, let's add the orange juice to this. Let's shake that a little bit. Now we're gonna open this up and add it to the. All right, that's a little bit more. There we go. Is it half and half? Maybe it's half and half. I don't know. We'll find out. Mm, yeah. I think it needs a little more champagne. Because it can taste more orange juice than champagne. There we go. Ah, yep. So this is also, this is very good actually. This is a great brunch beverage as is the other one too. Um, these are them side by side. Both look very orangish, orangey. Um, it's a hard toss up of which I like better because they're both so different, but so good. So I don't know. It's more than likely the way it's made. So the orange juice and the champagne hit really nicely. Mm. And then you come over here to this mango orange flavor, which it should be peach puree, but it's not, and I'm sorry guys. Um, it 
This one for me is a little more drier and not as sweet, but yet it would probably be sweet if I used the puree. So, um, probably not the best theory to test this with, with the zero calorie sparkling ice beverage, but both really good beverages. Um, I think because it's more of a late afternoon for me when I'm filming this, I would probably drink the Bellini with the Prosecco versus the Champagne and Orange Juice only because I, I kind of think this Orange Juice and Champagne for me, it's more of a morning brunch beverage. I just don't see my myself drinking it in the afternoon as much as I would this beverage because this doesn't seem too much like a brunch beverage. It seems more of like an afternoon beverage. So I'm going to kind of stick with my um, gut and go with I like the Bellini at the moment. But again, I do like the, if I, if it was morning, I'd probably go with this. So that's kind of how we're going to judge this. My morning go-to is a Mermosa and my evening go-to is a Bellini. How does that sound for a review? Does that kind of help you guys out with your theories in this? Um, not sure if that was a good way to go about it, but um, that's just how I feel. So yeah, they're really great. Um, the Prosecco and the, and the Char and Chardonnay, gosh, Champagne. <laughs> are very similar in taste for me anyway. Um, um, I got the Champagne Brut. It's a dry champagne. So again, and then the Prosecco is also very dry. It's not um, sweet. Um, it is a sparkling wine, they call it. And they also classify Champagne as a sparkling wine as well. However, I put Champagne in its own category. Whereas Prosecco, I categorize that with the wine mostly. So. I'm not really sure how you want to go about this review, but um, that's my take on this. So did this help you guys? I hope it did. Uh, comment below with any suggestions or questions you may have regarding this video or any videos in, my, in general or anything wine related in general as well. Comment below here and I'll try to answer you back in a timely fashion. Um, hit subscribe to see more videos from me if you want to see them weekly and um, do hit like. I do love likers. They're, you're amazing if you do like my videos. Um, and I'll try to have more, um, in the future, more Elizabeth content. I'm not sure when that will happen, but we'll find a way somehow, some way, if you guys are into that, which I think you guys are into that because she's a very likable person. And you know what? She's my best friend. So we're going to put her on the channel regardless. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I had to say that. Anyway, uh, I rambled on too long. So thanks for watching and you guys have an awesome wine-tastic Wednesday. Bye guys.